Hey guys, welcome back to Train Toy News. And in today, we have a lot of new announcements, honestly, like, uh, this has been long overdue, if I'm completely honest. There is so many things to talk about in this video, so let's just get right into it. First up, we got a new Thomas pack, where he is possessed by crystals for some reason. You know, he is in the mine. I'm guessing this is obviously the new special that's coming out. From what I unboxed previously, I had a new pack that had Darcy, of course, and that was, I think, the new pack for, like I said, the special. I don't really know what the special is called, but it's very cool to have all these pretty colorful engines coming out. I really love this new style, honestly, like the whole the whole aesthetic is just very striking and next we got a little snowy sandy we have bruno at the back which is really cool and we have a christmas star on the flatbed and i'm guessing obviously that's for a christmas tree of course but you know another repeated flatbed uh sorry my vacuum is going on in the background but we got sandy with a bunch of snow which is really pretty i think their style is actually really beautiful so this pack is something i'm very much looking forward to and then we got some new play row stuff now of course i've mentioned previously that i do not like the play row all engines go engines but i do love the troublesome trucks i always love some new troublesome trucks they look pretty nice if i do say so myself i love their expressions and i see skiff in the back i'm wondering how skiff is gonna look like if he has a new all engines go face but only time will tell and i do want to see him revealed next is something very new that i've never seen from them is color changing engines but they're uh mystery color changing engines so you put them in a jar that it comes with and it's basically completely blank but whenever you put them in the jar they actually reveal the paint and they are also color changing so not only do they uh keep it a secret but they also change colors as well whenever the paint comes off after that we actually got teased by bachman because they are currently molding all of the ho scale human figures which is very exciting they also announced some more all engines go color changing toys which we have bruno diesel and thomas and they all look really cool especially bruno i'm excited to get to bruno i usually don't really get like color changing toys but on Honestly, I feel like Bruno's one of those exceptions, especially since he's a new character exclusive to All Engines Go. So I honestly would like to get more merch of him. Diesel also looks very nice with the blue and red. And Thomas looks more Christmassy, but I don't think it's supposed to be a Christmas style. I think it's just like kind of 80s neon or like vaporwave. As you can see, there's the rising pink uh, sun on the side of him. And then we got some three other color changers, which is Diesel, Nia, and Thomas. Diesel has a hint of yellow. We got Nia with some jaguar stripes and Thomas also looking very cool with the flames on the side and even more color changers now this one is of course harold but i personally find this one to be a little bit more on the lazy side i don't really like the harold design the fact that he just turns gray and his face turns blue i feel like they could have done way more especially with all the other designs that we've seen so far but i don't really know if they've made harold in the toy line yet so maybe they kept it basic for a reason but y'all can let me know in the comments if they did make a harold already then we got a color changing sandy as well and she actually turned turns gray and her face turns pink so i'm wondering if this whole line of color changing engines and characters just turn gray in some sense maybe they have to go undercover as like chrome engines but i quite don't even know and we also have this thomas as well that also turns gray so that's why i'm speculating maybe there's a whole episode where they all turn into metallic gray characters <laughs> for some reason and we also have our first spotting of a push along ashima she looks really good like the wheel configuration looks really good and everything just looks so accurate um it's actually crazy that she's considered a tender engine i'm guessing it's just because she is on the longer side so they wanted to consider her a tender engine even though that's not her tender obviously that of course is a little wagon but she is priced the same price as a tender engine 
After that, we got this lovely new Diesel 3-pack, which is a special moments pack, of course. And he looks like he's covered in slime. I don't think it's slime, of course, but he has this really cool robot on his two flatbeds. And I love the look. I love the color scheme, especially the kind of greenish blue uh, goo on top of him and also the yellow that he has. And even the robot looks very, like neon he looks like he's pretty neon in my opinion and i love the base of the robot itself as you can see the back flatbed has the base of the robot and it kind of looks like a dark blue it's really pretty honestly and a high quality image reveal of motorized young bao from all engines go and he looks really good i'm actually excited for him to come out i think his facial expression is great and his whole design is really cool i think he might look better in the old Trackmaster version of him, but other than that, it looks pretty, pretty high quality anyways. And lastly, I've got this wonderfully pretty birthday pack surprise, and it looks really good. I'm guessing that this is obviously for any kids that are having their birthday coming up. I think this would be a really nice birthday present, especially since they're so colorful and they got a boom box, they're ready to party, and I love the color scheme on them. All the different, like, party balloon type colors on their wheels. I think they're supposed to be representing like balloons since all the wheels are those colors. And I think the bottom of them is actually like birthday cake material. I think there's little like tiny sprinkles or sparklies. Cause if you see right at the bottom where their wheels are connected, their chassis, you can see it's white, but you could see tiny specks. And I think that's honestly really cool. I think it's supposed to represent obviously birthday cake. And I love that they have streamers all over them. They're definitely festive and definitely fit for a birthday party surprise. So that is all for this new segment. I hope y'all enjoy. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite, which one is your least favorite. And just tell me overall what you think about these new products and new toys coming out. Are you excited for any of these toys that got revealed? Let me know in the comments. So like, subscribe, and comment for more of these. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.